Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, can you hear me now? You should be able to, I think. Let me just repeat all of that. <laughs> so uh, we've got Patrick Standar in the chat saying, "Nice to catch a live stream for once. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad you come. I'm glad you're here." Uh, CB Dem Bones Man is saying, "And thanks for giving several hours notice for those of us who aren't glued to the YouTube feed." Uh, yeah, I, I I forget that not everybody's permanently online like I am because I work from home, and when I'm not working from home, I'm tending to chill out at my desk and I do sort of like playing games and things and other internet-based stuff. So. I've been one of those permanently online guys since about 1997. Uh, I was actually quite late adopting the internet. I think it was 98, actually, that I was online. So I was a little bit later than a few of my friends, but uh, and I didn't get my own PC until I was, until I was 18, so it would have been 1997. Uh, so, yeah, I've been on the internet for a long, long time, but I just kind of forget that not everybody's always connected to it, and they do, they do real jobs outside and stuff. Um, Galand... Uh, Galad Melon said sound. Oh, yes, thank you. Okay, so thanks for letting me know, guys. Um, and Stronghold Fan says me too. Yeah, okay. So um, I'm, I'm a little bit kind of like, uh, flustered because we've just had a bit of a strange news about Explorminate, which um, I'm not going to go into now. Um, but yeah, we'll, 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 maybe we'll talk about that another time because I'm still trying to process it. Um, yeah, I've hit 5,000 subscribers. So I think today I'm going to pick a game and I'm just going to play a, a sort of chilled out game of something. And then we're just going to chat, I reckon. So try and figure something to play. What can we play? Uh, CB is saying congrats on the 5,000 subs, though. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's, it's funny because it only seems like yesterday when I was... I, I went on Facebook, which I don't even use Facebook anymore. But it, it must have been about four years ago, I guess four years five years and i was i was kind of asking people to subscribe to my channel just so i could get a few more subs just to kind of get things going you know i had like i had so um here's a trick with youtube right uh, i i actually i actually ended up getting quite a lot of subscribers because with like just accidentally because i used to, my channel was a general channel so i used to put up kind of all kinds of stuff and one of the things that i put up was a clip of a dragon ball of, of dragon ball the original dragon ball before the Z bit, right, or the Z bit, and um, it was just this funny clip. I mean, and it went viral; <laughs> it got like millions of views. So I just got like naturally about six hundred, seven hundred subscribers from that. So I had a bit of a head start. And my channel's old, right? I started my cha YouTube channel in two thousand and I think it's two thousand and seven. So it's an old channel, right? And, and it, you know, I used to use it for putting my music up because I used to be more serious about music production. Now I've got, I've got a little studio here, but I don't really, I'm a hobbyist, you know, I, I'm one of these guys who has quite a lot of gear and I like to tinker with it, but I don't really produce much music because I don't know, I'm just not very, I'm not very good at finishing things, but I just, you know, so I used to, I made this YouTube channel for that basically. And then, uh, you know, I, later on, I got into kind of doing games again and I decided that I was going to, um, you know, I'd try and try and record some videos and to go, even to go from six or 700 subs or whatever it was to you know getting my first sort of 20 or 30 real subscribers who were watching you know because they wanted to watch me play games that was really really hard man and it, it took ages it took ages and ages and ages and i also got a big bump with explominate as well so i want to thank rob from explominate because rob really helped me get going with youtube i think if it wasn't for that it would i would have i'd probably be still at you know maybe 2000 subscribers or something because youtube i i managed to because doing some videos for Explorminate and then, you know, I, some of the subscribers from there would come over to my own channel too. Um, so that was a real big help. But um, Malal still says streams. Yes, I'm streaming. I'm trying to figure out what to play. Um, <laughs> I wanted to play the political machine. I can't because it's uh, I'm NDA'd on that. <laughs> Actually, it's probably not a bad idea for me to play a, get a political game because I basically instantly will lose like half my audience. <laughs> it's actually really good though. Um, so when this comes out, guys, start like okay. I you know I work for Stardock and I'm I'm obviously a little bit biased, but I've always said that Stardock make good games. You know they've they've had a few failures here and there, but for the most part, they they do good on their games. Right. And the political machine is really I was like when, when they asked me to sort of do some stuff for it, I was like, oh, I don't know. You know, it's not. Yeah, I'll do it, obviously, because it's my job. But like I was like, oh, I don't know if it, this will be as interesting as Galsith. And I actually got really got into it. It's a really good game. It's mechanic mechanically really, really good. Um, what can we play? God knows. I really kind of just want to talk to people today, to be honest. 
Um, maybe I'll play some Conquest of Elysium because that's something I can play while I'm just messing around. So uh, let me just... Um, yeah, Conquest of Elysium will work in game capture mode as well. So let's let's get some COE on the go. Um, so how's everybody doing in the chat? How are we all doing? Okay, just one sec, guys. No, sorry. <laughs> there we are, Conquest of Elysium 5. And I'm just going to... Oh, no. Even though... I've got I've got permission to use this music. I know that the moment that music goes on, I'm going to have a whole bunch of people pretending to be Adrian von Zeigler who are going to say, "Hey, you've used my video, uh, you've used my music," and now I'm going to have to go through a whole bunch of ah, uh, like with Kingdom. I was playing Kingdom Dungeon and Hero, and I again I've I've got the personal um, like the developer Al Souza um, is happy for me to do videos on that game and he's given me permission to use the music that he's like he's paid for and I still get copyright claims like from the from the artist and it's not the artist's fault he, it's, it's just automatic off YouTube but like I'll fill out 12 of these things and you've got to do them all by hand and then the next day I'll get them all again and it's just like YouTube's way of handling copyright is challenging I'm, I'm gonna say all right let's play some Conquest for Elysium it's been a while man let's just put it on Put it on a medium map and just see what we can do. Uh, let's play on. Let's just play on Empire because it's easy and fun. And we'll put it on Battle Reports. I'll leave Wilder off. So it's a little bit quicker. Uh, okay, and we'll leave that off too. Uh, Malal uh, Satili, oh, sorry, Malal Satili is saying Elysium is awesome. Yes, it's one of my favourite games, and it uh, always will be. I think it's an absolutely incredible game. Ill Winter are my favourite games developer after the one that I work for. <laughs> Who should we play with? Um, wow, so many. There's, there's a few that I've, I've not really played with before as well. Malal Satili said, "I saw some of your videos over Moria. Then I realised you did Dominions." and l and shadow tactics and oh yeah so uh the the roguelikes is something that i've been trying recently because i like playing roguelikes and it's been a while since i've actually played any who should we play as um boom. i play senator senator's fun i really like the roman troops that senator has Alternatively, we could try something a little bit wild, like... Let's go with Scourge Lord. I've not played with Scourge Lord for a while. Um, let's give him a kind of crazy colour. Yeah, something like this. Let's kind of try and pick some slightly brighter colours. Just so I can see these a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Dan is saying, uh, COE is your one of your channel's games that I haven't gotten. It's going to have to wait for me to get tired of uh, Dominion Six, Shadow Empire, and Galaxy Four. Yeah, <laughs> right. I, I'm, I'm the same. It's kind of it's a pretty it's a pretty similar order as well that I've got. Um, so, Conquest for Elysium is one of those games that I can just play whenever. It's really it's it's really easy to play once you know how to play it. It can take a little bit of learning. It's people say it's simpler than Dominions, and it is, but it's a, there's a lot of depth in it as well. Um, Okay, I'll just keep the rest on. I'm going to just have the unique random players. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, have another one in there as well. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go into battle mode. Okay. Have I... Uh, okay, sorry. I'm just going to try and go through the uh, the comments. Uh, Slice99 saying, good evening all. Hey, Slice, how's it going? Delta B, hello, sir. How are you? Okay, there will be a face reveal for 5,000 5, subs. There might be, yeah. I might be revealed even more if you ask me nicely. It's not, if you throw enough money at me, I might get my tits out. Um, Malal still... So, Conquest for Elysium 6 in three years, if Ill, Ill Winter releases stays the course. Yeah, maybe so. That, you might find that they want to work on something new, though. I think, right, that Conquest for Elysium 4 was a good game, but it wasn't amazing. But Conquest of Elysium 5 was like a huge, huge upgrade. And I think now that this game is at a point where there's more that could be done, but I think it's pretty polished. So if they did something else next time, I wouldn't be upset. I will carry. I will play this game till the end of the time. Um, Patrick, uh, 
uh, Patrick Standar is saying, have you played Case of Could? Yes, I have. I've been playing it for about six years, I think, or seven years. I I've been playing it a long time. I don't play it regularly and I don't play it on the channel. Um, I like Caves of Cud. My, my my gripe, one gripe with Caves of Cud is that I don't really like all the procedurally generated lore in it. I think it's a bit goofy. Other than that, I, it's an incredible technology though behind it. I don't know if you know anything about it. It's really, really clever. Okay, we've got the Scourge Lord. Battle mode, the Scourge Lord. Um, what have we spawned with? So we've got Shadow Form. This is, this gives etherealness to a single target. Good spell. We've also got Fear, a very good spell. Uh, we've got Terror, uh, a very good spell. So uh, both of these are MR negates, but with great difficulty. Um, this is interesting, look. One of the differences between ter Terror and Fear is Fear, you can actually target your own troops, whereas Terror, you can't. That's because this is a area of effect burst. Um, weakness as well. So this is going to weaken weaken troops in an area of effect 25. Um uh, Dembo's man saying, although I have kind of shelved Galsif 4 until the Warlords update comes out, comes out, it's taking a backseat to Shadow Empire and Dominion 6. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually the same. Um, I'm really, like, the last update, by the way, that came out for Galsif was really, really good. It, I think the, one of the things that Stardock are quite good at is putting, you know, making subtle changes to games that are really needed. So, for example, the, the, the most recent update, Populi, was really, was really important because it kind of fixed some stuff that people were asking for. And something, you know, like, for example, the citizen transports really should have been in at the start of the game. But it's it's really made the game a lot better. So, um, but yeah, I'm waiting for Warlords as well to do to do a stream. And um, yeah, I can't really talk much more about that. I'm at NDA on all, all talk about Galsif, you know, like when it comes to work. Um, but I'm, I'm probably allowed to say that you should be excited for it. I think it's going to make the game way, way better, way better. It's uh, it's it's a decent amount of content that's in that update. Um, you know, and we we got a like we've got a we've got a free update that comes with the paid update, but the paid update is Warlords, and then we got the free update. But both together is just going to be like really really good. Um, um, Malal Satil is saying I enjoyed L. Um, I suppose that I could play Dom Six only for its solo, right? Yeah, you don't need to Dom Dominion Six. You don't need to play it as a um, you don't need to play it as a sing uh, multiplayer game at all getting my keys now you don't need to play it as a multiplayer game it, it i think a lot of people think that it's mostly you know a multiplayer game but i would argue that it's except it's very very fun even in single player and it's it's different you know you play it differently you can play more thematically so you don't have to kind of leap you don't have to use all the cheesy tactics that people have to use in you know not cheesy but you know the, the sort of multiplayer tactics there's there's a very there's a very specified set of multiplayer tactics that you can use in single player if you're playing on high difficulties and it will help but you know players play very differently um uh, rob reichardt hello sir i uh, said hey great choice for a 5k stream thank you yeah this is this is a staple of my channel man like i, I will never get ever get bored of it oh, so we've already got the enchanter here look now this guy we got to kill him fast Oh, he's an enchanter's apprentice. Let's uh, let's jump on this guy and kill him immediately. The reason is is because he's really really powerful, and we want to we want to kill him quick. Um, Devon Cop, five thousand subs, so well deserved. Best of luck in hitting your first million. <laughs> Thanks, Devon Cop. Hey, how's it going, by the way? Uh, I'm I, I I remember your name as well, but I won't I won't out you on the internet. But how are you, sir? I hope you're well. Um, Malal Satilis, never touch Galsib or Shadow uh, Shadow Tactics. Yeah, it's not Shadow Tactics, it's Shadow Empire. Um, Shadow Tactics, I do have. And that is a kind of like a what do you what would you call it? One, it's a commandos like game if you remember commandos. Um, uh, but my says shadow tactics seems cool but daunting. Yeah, I was, if you're meaning shadow empire, yeah, it is. It's a very very big game. You just got to play it. It's it's one of these things where I think that people get put off, just like Dominions, because it's very very complicated, and it feels like it should be, you know. It feels like something that you've got to learn before you play, and I'd just say just play it. The game's designed so that it's quite easy to play for beginners to play if you put it on the beginners mode, and you can. Uh, it's, a lot of the stuff is automated in it, and you don't need to worry about it until you've kind of put the uh, difficulty up. So just play it on beginner. Um, uh, Galadi Melon said, "Did you do the voice work for Galsif Four? Uh, yes, it is my voice. I didn't do any work <laughs> other than so basically, Stardock used a lot of AI stuff and." um galsib's like really really pioneering in the sense that we use a lot of ai stuff that other people haven't really used before and as far as we know i'm the first uh i'm the first voice actor to have his voice ai synthesized and then 
playing all of the audio for all of the languages in the game so yeah you if you've heard me that's that's where that's what it is so yeah it's kind of exciting technology and it's going to be amazing um for for people who are you know brave enough to embrace it and it does need a little bit of bravery because there's a lot of people who still don't who are still very suspicious of it and fear it but it's nothing to be afraid, afraid of general ai is <laughs> that's something we need to be worried about but when it comes to you know think little things like using you know certain ai tools to make make artistic jobs easier i think it's great and, and yeah i am the i'm the voice I did use my voice on that game, although it's not speaking in the same accent. It has a southern accent, whereas I, I'm from the Midlands. Um, Patrick Sandar said, Dominion's uh, works really well in single player as well. Yes, yeah, it does. It's an amazing single player game. It's, I've been, I'm actually playing now as Early Age Ermor, and I'm um, having an absolute blast with it. We should probably... Oh, we've got a Banshee here. Okay, it's got really high magic resistance as well, and a Death Whale, which is just going to kill everything. Yeah, that's really strong, by the way. This is why I like Conquest of Elysium. I like games where you, you've got something that's just got a spell that will delete a whole bu bunch of your troops. Um, uh, Slice 99. Not much grey in the beard. Not quite as old as me. Oh, hang on. Where's, what's happened to my camera? Ah, sorry, folks. Well, it looks like my camera's out of battery. Let me just turn that off. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think I, it must be the, I guess it wasn't uh, charged up enough. My webcam is uh, always a source of frustration, unfortunately. Okay, uh, let's continue on. So, uh, Tim Lagar said, hello. Uh, it says, looks like you want to throw a, a lot of small squads at the Banshee. Yeah, yeah, there's there's ways of dealing with it. I think you, you probably want to just send in a big a big blob of troops and with, you know, with something at the back that can kill it. So something something else that's got a death spell or something that can, to get through that MR. Um, but yeah, that's that's not something you want to trifle with early on. Okay, Let's, I'm just going to head back to our main base and um, we're going to pick up, what do we want? I'm forgetting all my hotkeys, just bear with me. Uh, been a while since I played, yeah, it's Recruit R. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Conquest of Elysium. Uh, let's get up some... Let's get some spearmen, I think. So we've just got some more troops on the front line. Actually, can we recruit those as well, the desert troops? Yes, we can. Desert Warriors. Okay, so these these are what we really want to be recruiting. These guys, the Desert Warriors, are really really good. Uh, Tim Lagor says invisible mode. Yes, that's me. <laughs> uh, Malal still inverse face reveal for five k face hiding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna hide myself away. I wasn't intended. Um, I've got a so I use a, a Sony camera, um, like a uh, you know, like a proper camera, the mirrorless thing, and it's really really good quality. Although it, I use it for work, but the problem is. Just kind of a bad design because it just never it, it doesn't draw it, draw it doesn't draw enough power quite enough power to be able to on the usb even with two cables to uh actually be able to use to be able to record for a long time so if it's fully charged it'll go for about two or three hours but um i've come unstuck with that okay let's see what we can find around here oh okay we've got a village here with four levees guarding uh, Tim Lagor was saying exactly. I was I was thinking exactly the opposite. Send a few archers at a time until one gets lucky. I suppose the question whether they can fire before it wails. Uh, it'll wail pretty quick. So, and you uh, the now the, it's saying the range is one. Ah, oh, so okay, that's a melee attack. Yeah, you could send in archers then. The archers would do it. I'd miss that. Very good. Very well spotted. Let's go and take this uh, coastal village or this village. Edward Lucy says, "Where are the Blitzer tanks? <laughs> They've not been developed yet, but we can we can we can summon up some kind of equivalent." There we go. Okay. Now it's kind of risky, by the way, taking your whole army out like this and leaving your arm, your force undefended. You don't really want to do this, so don't don't be like battle mode. Generally speaking, um, I want more troops to take on Kraken's Bay there. When you're playing on night, you need to be a little bit more careful with the with the way that you use the troops. Uh, okay, so we, we've also we want to start putting up some of these pillars of power. We've got a whole bunch of life force here, so I'm going to get another one of those up. Um, let's just check the rituals that we've got. Okay, so we've got construct pillar of power. We've got a point herald. We've got the ritual of scourge mastery, and the, uh, the ritual of scourge mastery will give us more more rituals. Uh, I forget which rituals that you get. We probably want to get one here. But I'm going to... I think while we can... Oh, do we have enough metal for a pillar of power? 
Okay. Timber Gore, resolution is doing weird things. Uh, every change of screen is blurry, then gets sharper. Uh, okay, that might be something to do with the. Is it? Is anybody else having problems with the uh, with the with the stream? Just let me know if you are. I'll fiddle with it. Uh, Patrick Standar, speaking of deep games, have you played Cataclysm: Dark Days Ahead? Yes, I have. One of my favourite roguelike games. I mean, it's not. I, I almost don't consider it a roguelike because it's it's kind of not like rogue. <laughs> it's a. It looks like a roguelike, but yeah, it's an ASCII. It's one of the. It's another one of these ASCII games or tile game based games, but it's a survival game very very good and uh, project zomboid is heavily based upon it even though you don't see the all oh, what have we got here is this a raksharaja adiapania i think this is a i think this is the raksharaja let's get the hell out of here because he's a he's quite strong and i don't know if we'll beat him Uh, CB, Dem Bones Man. Yes, it gets blurry briefly on screen, load or switch. Ah, okay. Just bear with me, folks. Um... Let me switch to... Uh, still on games capture. Yeah, I mean, uh, Conquest of Elysium is a little bit sketchy. Just the way that it works, it's always been a bit blurry, and it's not, you know, the Ill Winter stuff's a little bit janky when you when it comes to OBS. Uh, Tim Lagos saying, "I'm pretty sure it's your end, not YouTube." May may not be may may not be something easy for you to sort though. Uh, it's likely to do with the stream size. Oh, hold on, stream's current bit rating. Let me just have a look at this. One minute, guys. Okay, stream's current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. Okay, let me just see if we can figure this out. Hmm. Uh, just bear with me, folks. Let me just. Sorry, the uh, Conquest of Elysium is going to be bound still to my mouse, so it's going to go all over the place. Bit rate sounds likely. Yeah, it'll be the bit rate. I don't think I can change this. This is this is basically using YouTube's recommended settings. Um, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, we might be able to edit it. Hang on. No. Okay, saying good now. Uh, it could be something, it's likely to something to do with my own internet connection. Just bear with me a sec, folks. I'll be back in one minute. That's one nice thing about not having the camera on is I can turn off these hot lights. Um, yeah, I, I was, we'll see. We'll see how it works anyway. So just let me know if it, if it gets any worse. It's saying it's okay now for me. Um, but I don't know if it's, if it's going to be okay. Anyway, let's see what else I can do. I want to keep away from that. I'm pretty sure that this is a Raksha Raja here. And I want, I want to keep the hell away from that thing. Um, but I would also like to get up another Pillar of Power... Uh, we want to put it up somewhere where it's going to kill. Sorry, back in the game. Maybe I put it up here between these villages, and then we'll start getting some ghouls. Now it will it will eventually suck these farms dry, but that's okay. We don't care about people. Okay, here we go. Look. So yeah, this is so it's saying it's an Atari. Oh, it might just be an Atari. It might actually just be an Atari chief here. Uh, let's point a herald, and then we've got we got a, another strong character to go in with, and then we'll uh, we'll attack these guys. Yeah, okay, they, it is just an, a bunch of Atavi. Uh, Tim Lagor saying your selected dude has an aura of blurriness. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Like, um, it's 
this is set up how YouTube likes you to set it up. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, there's been a battle in a plane. Okay, those guys didn't stand a chance. I actually thought that that might be a monkey Maharaja, or sorry, the uh, Raksharaja disguised, because that's one of his abilities that he can do. Let's get some Desert Warriors, by the way, up here. And then um, I'm going to go... Yeah, we'll, we'll carry on. Oh, look what we've got here. We've got a village, and yeah, we do have an enchanter here. Yikes. He's got a wood golem up already. Now, none of my spells are going to affect that. Although, if we can get Ethereal off a few times, that would help. Um, we can take... Ah! He might move into the Crystal Tower. Let's see what happens. He's moved away. This will be good for us to take immediately. He's only got a Gargoyle in there. And look at this. He's right next to the Capitolium as well. So, that's going to be really, really helpful. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with YouTube, by the way, because um, I'm also unable to change any of the stream settings. Um... I was just looking at it and it's it, it, oh, I'm trying to edit it and it's just not letting me edit it at all so yeah I'm not quite sure what's going on stream's current bit rate is 2648 lower than the recommended bit rate let me just see what we can do here yeah, let's see stream settings Uh, YouTube seems to be trying to defeat ad blockers. Yeah, it is. That's that's partly what they're doing. Um, yeah, that, that's pro that might be what it is, guys. If it is unwatchable, can you let me know? Because I'll just uh, there's just no point in me doing the uh, doing the stream if if you can't see it. Is it is the text blurry? That's that will be the 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 you know for me that would be the big problem. Uh, okay, there's been a battle in a crystal tower. Oh wow, we got a big hit on one of our camel riders and lost him from that crossbow. Now we're going to lose a lot of troops getting in over this, getting through this gate, I imagine. Sorry. Well, that archer, oh, uh, well, I was going to say he was surviving pretty well, but he... Okay, I'm just going to speed this up. All right, so Gotchlock the Enchanter has been eliminated. So we captured his... This is really, really good for us now. We're going to have a really, really strong start. Uh, CB saying, it's uh, blurry for a sec, then clears up and readable. No biggie. All right, thanks, mate. Let's continue on. Okay, so by the way, taking out the Enchanter early on is, is really good because the Enchanter is a really strong character. Uh, Van Duk the Burgermeister has been eliminated. The last sister was conquered by Alf the Troll King. Okay, Let's uh, let's see what we've got here. It's, that was just a Venara Archer. I don't think that could be right. Let's see what. Um, yeah, we have got construct pillars of power now. Now we can we can we've got a couple of coal mines. We can actually get the pillars of power. Let's see what was in here. Oh, it's a Raksharaja. Look, he's not going to be able to beat us on his own. I don't think. There we go. Look. Okay, we put a bunch of our troops to sleep. But that is a Raksharaja in big trouble. Um, because he's now lost his main troop. Okay. Let's leave this Solus behind. Okay, we want to go... Oh, there's an ancient forest and we got a village. I don't want to be straying too quite uh, too far from the, um, my, my home here. I think five Desert Warriors is probably enough to defend it. And there's a the Troll King. Okay, we can kill him really, really easily. Okay, this has turned out to be a, a relative... We've got a bunch of a bunch of stuff that is quite easy for us to beat. Let's grab Fear. And we'll, if we cast Fear on this guy, he's going to run. Probably. Oh, no! Okay, so the Troll King killed us. And that, I'm surprised at that. Usually, if, uh, if you've got a Fear spell, you can make him run quite easily. Are we just getting unlucky here? Yeah, we are casting fear, but he's resisting. 
Have his, has he had his magic resistance raised, or am I just getting really bad rolls here? Yeah, look, we're casting we're casting fear, but it's just not getting through. His, I think I got unlucky there, man. Like that was usually you can make him run quite easily, but there we go. Uh, so let's start a new game. <laughs> it was a little bit bit of a short one. Uh, we're going to try again. We'll put it back on Empire. We'll put it on Battle Reports and Common Cause, although we're not going to use teams, I don't think. Let's try again with the Scourge Lord. I like the Scourge Lord. I've not used him for a while. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm a few too many characters for... Maybe I've got a few too many characters on here for this amount of players. Sorry, for this size of map. Okay, I didn't put unique uh, classes on. That doesn't really matter too much. Okay, uh, similar looking start. All right, we're going to leave... It's going to leave a Desert Warrior in there. Just in case that deer tries to come knocking. Let's see if we do some exploring with that guy. Battle in a coastal hamlet. There we go. Oh, okay. There's a couple of levies here. Alright, this is a bit of a better start in terms of being able to actually to get out and get some money early on. So does uh, any of you watching, by the way, do you have any questions about, about the channel or any of the series I'm playing? Because um, I think that this is a good opportunity for people to kind of chat and, you know, have you say on stuff. This is really risky, by the way, doing this, but um, I, like, I do value getting some exploration out in the early game. Okay, we're going to get him. I'm going to start getting him back. Really what we want to find early on is a is a mine, because mines are very, very useful for the Scourge Lord. We want metal. Uh let's have a look. I wonder if there's any way that I can restart this stream, folks. Yeah, maybe I'm, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm, I, cause since I'm not really getting many people watching, I'm wondering if it's because of the stream quality. Let me see if I can fix this and I'll, I'll be back on in a moment. Sorry about this. Get this fixed. <laughs> 